Hello, and welcome back to Mech Mechanic Simulator Demos. It's been a while since we've been on the channel. Lots of things happened last year. Lots of alright things, and lots of horrible things, and just the kind of things that make you want to do other stuff. Things. Let's get over these things with a new game. Reputation points increases your prestige. The higher the prestige, the more features unlock. Alright. First time booting this up, guys. I saw Splattercat was playing this and I was like, oh my god. You're gosh. finally here. Your competitors were not as lucky as you are, and they are still sitting in their holes. And you got this gem. Nice. Alright, we're sitting at. 21 frames per second. Holy smokes. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, one sec, one sec. I gotta make sure I'm not holding anything to cure COVID. Okay, is that better? We're at 59, 59. Yeah, maybe that's better. All right, overloaded no longer. Good. Hmm. Sound levels seem to be okay. All right. All right, let's just want to double check this real quick. Doo doo, doo doo. Filters? Yeah, the filters are in place. The filters are in place. Come on. Maybe, maybe we'll check out a clip real quick. I'm used to live stream, but right now I do not have reliable internet that is fast enough for that. All right, I think everything's okay. I think. Anyway, let's turn up the game sounds just a little. Okay. Intro. To move around the workshop, use WSAD. You can rotate the camera using the mouse. And in order to interact with objects, left click. Oh boy. Let's change my mouse to DPI. That's better. No. Throwing my head everywhere. This is nice. This kind of reminds me of Rover Mechanic Simulator. If you guys recall that, we had a little walk in area. Whoa! Oh, nothing out there. Or a <laughs> PC. You know something. how hard it was to find this place? And unregistered mechanics are still being prosecuted by the authorities. Since you're operating in a somewhat gray area, they'll surely make me your partner in crime. Screw me apart and make me a blender or some other tool. Just be careful, okay? All right. Intro. You might feel a bit lost at the beginning since the workshop is a few times larger than the hole you built me in. Once you've taken a look around, go to your office. All right. Wow. We've got quite the cityscape out there. Kind of gives me the f vibe, Ducky, of um, clone drone in the danger zone. Oh, so bright. Why do we need mechs? I mean, we're a mech mechanic. Oh, he's walking up here too. Nice. We need to get an official license as soon as it's possible. Without it, no one will ever risk giving us a bigger job. A bigger job than what? With this handy PC, you'll have access to the job offers. I assume you've been in a workshop like this before, but I am here to help if you ever feel lost. Do you wish to continue the tutorial? Yes. Yes, for goodness sakes, yes. Oh my gosh, I got a finger. There's the power grid, huh? Maze. Doors that are locked. Doors that are locked. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Here you can see the list of all currently available job offers. With time and enough work, more of them should appear. Okay. Alright, alright. That sounds cool. Sakura Legacy. Legacy? Job. Spec. Specification. Specification. Oh my god. 
Uh, how much money we got? 15. This will pay us 9,800. This panel will let you view the details of selected jobs. You will see what corporation is trying to hire us, the mech model, the job description, and what tasks you'll need to complete. Accept the job when you are ready. Repair? Question marks. Clean the mech. Sakura Technologies is looking for a specialist to carry out repairs on a damaged unit. This unit was damaged during work on one of our space stations. It's common model with basic specifications. According to the initial diagnostic, the damage is not serious. Restoring the mech to its full functionality is key to the performance of our company. We're asking for a quick response. Alright, I can accept it quickly. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool! You know, Marcus, my friend, he's a huge mech. Fiend, really. He would enjoy this. Right, let's head to the assembly station to see what's wrong with our patient. Now, 34 meters away. Not sure how many feet that is. Ooh, multiple ways up and down, that's cool, I like it. Oh, can you hear the hype in my voice? Because I've got the hype. We need to find out what's damaged in the mech. To do that, we will use this station. But first, we need to clean the mech from all the dust and mud. It was on a space station, they said. Why's it got mud? It's a dirty space station. Ducky! Can I... Wait a minute. Can I not duck? Oh, oh, oh gosh. That's G-Force experience. What are you doing on the screen? there's a similar button here. Okay. Now well, we can't do anything with the ducky. Enter the cleaning mode by pressing the cleaning button. <laughs> Thank you. By pressing and holding the left button, start the flow of water. And move it around to clean it. This is just like uh, Yacht Mechanic Simulator, which was a great game. I like that. Uh, you can rotate the device around the mech using WSAD. Bum, bum, bum. Oh my <laughs> That's really good. I like it. It's so sudsy. We've got soap on one end, water on the other. Look at that thing. We truly can be a mech cleaner. This is your mech car wash here. Look, we're getting paid. Wait. Costs money to wash? Cleaning is completed. It's cleaner than when it assembled for the first time. Return to the assembly screen and select scanning. Cleaning is complete. Oh my gosh, I have to replace the water? And fire? 94? Oh no. This percentage is the water amount I have? And this is how much it's gonna cost to replace it? What? <laughs> All right, how do I escape? Scanning. Whoa. It's all blurry. To find the di damaged parts, you need to launch the scanner using my click. Move the mouse cursor around the parts. The parts in question will be highlighted. Oh, oh. Ah! When you lose your mouse press. Oh no. Oh no. We glitched? We glitched? It, oh, it's stuck on my screen. I need to close it, but my mouse can't get over to the left there. No, it doesn't work. I can't freely move my mouse over. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can work around this. Repair the part. Okay, we gotta let it scan it, I guess. We might have to quit and come back. Uh, technical difficulty. All right. Dang it! <laughs> it just kind of, if I right click, it just takes us right out of that screen. And I don't know if I can access it. Maybe. Wait, we'll try closing it. After the animation finishes, you can download this demo, guys, on Steam right now. Just look up. 
mechanics <laughs> mechanic simulator. I can't scan it, can I? Oh, I found it. All right, it's over here. It's just broken. <laughs> By scanning the mech, we can find out how to fix it and to finish the job. To open the list of tasks, we need to <laughs> hit tab. But, but, but I can't see. All right, quit and exit. Make sure. Continue. I hope it doesn't save that screen in that place. Oh, I hope it doesn't. Come on. You can do it, game. Okay, we're in the office. Let's get down there. I can't leap. I wanted to leap over the edge there, but I can't. All right, um, let's see, where are you? Controls. Okay, it's still clean, so it did save our progress. All right, oh, I wish I could scan it. All right, right arm is damaged. So this is the right arm. All right, workbench. Right arm. Oh, select all the modules. Highlight parts. I can't see. It's behind it. No. Dang it. I got out of the, the broken screen there. There we go. All right, detaching. We need to detach a few of the parts that are blocking this module. Aim your cursor at the blocked parts and remove by holding the left button. Remember that you can only detach parts that are highlighted in green. These that become red when targeted are blocked by other parts that you need to be removed. So it's, it's just like the other. And this is the right arm? I thought that was... Oh, this is the front. Okay, so this one has to come off. This part is held in place by screws. So we'll need to remove them first. Ooh. Oh. Oh my. Alright. I see there's a little... little marker on my wheel there. Disconnected. Arm. No, I don't want to put it back on! Alright, right arm. Close this. Close. Close. Whew. Close this back. So, we have the arm off, right? That is over here. I'm guessing... Using the motion uh, movement buttons, you can clearly rotate the camera around the module. Using the cursor, you can select the parts that interest you. Also, the damaged parts will be visible. Oof. Disassembly. Use Q and E. You can freely switch between the attach and detach module, just like in the assembly station. Using your cursor to see the parts, you have to detach before you can reach the parts. <sighs> Aiming at a part will allow you to see basic information about it. From our point of view, the most important detail is the parts status. Parts can be good quality, damaged, or broken. Completely. We will be able to fix the part in the repair station once we get the Parts that are completely broken cannot be fixed and need to be replaced. You can detach only the parts that are blo not blocked by any other parts. When you select a removable part, start the detaching by click. Uh. Alright. Normal, rusty, damaged, broken. We're in disassembly mode. This is reattach mode. I see there's a part in there. Is there a scan mode in this? No, just the two. So we got 82%. 91. We're looking for the broken component. 76. Start taking it apart. I don't see it on the outside. This. All right. Mech parts are divided into several categories. Detaching a part will be different for each such category. After selecting the part you wish to detach and hold the left button, you will see a small arrow. All right. Let's fill it up. Oh, I had to move it up. Exactly like that. We would need to 
get the damaged parts. Damage each thing one by one. So you are able to remove the part. <laughs> Where is... Missing. Oh, that should have been straight up, not sideways. I mean, I like the this a little bit like that. It's different than just holding down and having the part just fly away like in the train mechanic simulator. I just, I'd like the scanner thing so I know where the break is. But it's definitely not up there. It's got to be under a panel or something. Ooh. But just moving across it, I suppose, is how they're doing it in this one. Come on. Bloop. Oh, it was up and down. That one had multiple movements necessary. Are we there yet? getting into the meat of it. See the broken part. There was an American company that was building mechs for a while. Uh, I helped kickstart them. They did eventually have to sell off their mechs. So I should be the boss here. Yeah? Did I find it? That's blocking that. Okay. We're through. It must be underneath this component. It seems we can now remove the source of the issue. Go on. Is it here? Is it here? Where is it? I don't see the source of the issue. Like I said, 90... Definitely not this little joint here. Is it these? Oh, it was those hoses! That's why we could see them! At this point, we don't have the hardware necessary to fix the part. But once we get a license, we'll be able to buy stations that can fix it. For now, you'll have to replace it with a new one. Enter the attach mode. In this mode, all areas where parts can be placed will be highlighted. Click on the place from which you just removed the damaged part. As you probably already noticed, we can access our inventory from the station. The inventory is already filtered to see only those parts that will fit the selected slot. We don't have a new one to attach right now, so we'll have to buy it. Select the search in the shop button. That's a cool looking button. Search in the shop. 
This button will move you directly to the shop and automatically filter the results, leaving only those parts that fit the selected area. On the left, you'll have a button buy. Okay. Will show you the entire store range. Sell will allow you to sell the parts you have in your inventory, and filter will make it possible to filter the parts you're searching for. You can also search for the part by name. For now, let's buy the missing part. 2,500 bucks. Cables. On the right side, you can set the number of parts you wish to buy. For now, you only need one. Okay. Is this X up here? There are two parts on the inventory list now. The old one and the new one. Notice now that there are different qualities. Each part has... Can have one of four quality ranges. Unrepairable, damage, repair, and new. If you want the employer to consider the mech fix, you need to replace the parts labeled unrepairable and damaged with repaired or new. Now, let's attach the new part. It seems that the issue has been solved. Now, you just need to reassemble the entire module back. Let's let me know when you're done. I'm sure you'll know before I know. Armor, nice. It looks like it won't let me put stuff back in the wrong order. Okay, I'll attach that. And it also reminds me of the little guys. Little attachments, little pieces of armor. Well, now, we've learned quite a lot, haven't we? Sections, uh, more armor plating. This is going back together much faster. I feel like a real mech mechanic. Some more armor. What's this armor for? Oh, the carbon fiber. Nice. I didn't even notice that when we first took it off. Oh, the clips. Of course, the clips. And that one didn't even need clips. Alright. Not put on the broken part. Last screws, I think. Hard to tell. There's no status bars. All right. When reassembling the mech, make sure that all parts are in their places. Return a mech with missing parts isn't good, and the employer will isn't something that the employer will appreciate, and would have to forget about the reward. Let's head back to the assembly. Are you telling me I forgot something? <laughs> Is there an I for inventory button? There's not. Alright, I've hit the escape button. I'm moving over to the mech. I guess I could always scan it, right? Alright, we need to reattach the module to the mech. We do this the same way we attach it. Detach it. But the other way around. Select assembly. Now, select the detached module and reattach it to the mech. Also, you'll need to place back all previous removed parts. Notice how the part is no longer red. That means that it's fully functional. Okay. Disconnected. Reconnecting. And then we gotta reattach the carbon fiber. When you finish all of the main goals of a job, you'll be able to return it. Of course, you can return a job before fixing the mech if you don't feel like getting your money. Right. Let's head back to the office. All right. There it is. The first mech we ever rebuilt. Marcus would be so proud. One last look out the window. All right. Just look at my office. And the the screen enables you to return the job. Some of the jobs we might get will have additional goals. They are not mandatory, but doing them will increase the reward. All right. The accident took place during the landing. Despite its complicated design, it was one of our superior or simpler mechs. According to the initial diagnostics, the damage is not serious. We're looking forward to it. It's okay. Finished job. She 
she goes. <laughs> Drones picking it up, taking her away. All right, we got the full amount. 9,800, we got zero rep <laughs> reputation. After finishing a job, a short summary will display. You'll be able to see what we've gained or lost. For what exactly, it's not quite useful when you work on more than one. You can enter the shop anytime by opening it with the I button. I just tried the I button. Let's try it again. Oh, yes, yes. There's one page of things, so we only have access to one type of mech. Here, you can buy and sell mech parts. On the left, you can search for parts by their name and use filters. Always check the parts price before you buy it. The market is usually unstable right now. The market is really unstable right now. Prices change a lot. Luckily, the current price changes are displayed next to the item. Okay. Soft door, black market, loan. Our reputation opened new doors. We proved that we are worth the trust, and from now on, we can take loans. From this screen, you'll be able to take loans and specify the repayment schedule. Do we have a loan right now? Payment amount. Oh, is that just telling me if I take that kind of loan? It is. So if you take 3,800. No, 3286. It'll cost you 4929. <sighs> I got gotcha. you. All right. Well, that's gonna be it for this. I mean, there might be more videos eventually, but right now I have very poor, poor internet, and uh, <laughs> you can't stream on poor internet. Maybe one day I'll get something better. Hopefully soon. Look at how beautiful. Anyway, I'll see you guys some other time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.